Hey, what's up guys? Uh, haven't done a video in a while and I kind of want to get back on track here doing more videos. I have so much stuff I've uh, been using for so long, so much stuff to review. But just to get the ball rolling with these videos, uh, I wanted to just do probably the easiest thing you can do and do a, uh, a pocket dump, do an EDC, the stuff I carry every day. Um, just everything that you would find in my pockets on an everyday basis. So uh, let's start it off here. Let's start with the right pocket. Um, Everyone's got one of these, cell phones, this is an iPhone SE, and a life-proof nude case. I have an iPhone 5C, this is my work phone, and then also in my right pocket is my EDC knife, which is my Spyderco Paramilitary 2. I rotate that without a few other things, but right now I'm carrying the Spyderco. Let's see, that's it for the right pocket, and left pocket pretty basic wallet. I don't like to carry my wallet in my back pocket. I'm sitting on it. It's too, too thick. So I carry that in the left pocket. I have keys and besides my car key, my Jeep keys and my house key, I have a little lock back on there. Nothing too crazy, just a little cheapy, but it's kind of nice, uh, nice little backup for this. And uh, if you're around some people that are a little more kind of uncomfortable with you, whipping out this big knife and it's nice to have that as well. Uh, I've seen, I've made another video about this but I carry a Bic lighter and I have about a foot or so of duct tape wrapped around it. If you look into my videos I have a video on how I make that. If you want that hard you just wrap some duct tape around a Bic. Uh, also carry a little bit of chapstick. Always good. Sucks having chapped lips. Um, actually funny thing is I was carrying around, I customized this little uh, pill lighter I was using for a while, but this thing was so tiny that uh, really kind of would run out of fuel too quickly and I really didn't like that. So uh, I like it uh, just for a backup, but uh, I don't really carry it anymore. I'm probably going to buy a full size, like a bigger one of these from uh, County Com or something. So I'll... Uh, do some kind of review or something when I get that one. Uh, and last but not least, my favorite thing from my left pocket here is my uh, 4.7's Prion uh, P2. AAA flashlight, uh, a bunch of different modes on it. I have a aftermarket titanium clip. Uh, I don't remember uh, what website it was that I got this off of, the, the clip itself, but I know the newer version actually is a stainless steel uh, one. They, they took the design off of the at the guy who made it aftermarket. Um, I'll figure that out and I'll post a, a link in the description. But I, I love this P2. I'll definitely do a review on this and a lot of other stuff here coming soon. But I've had this thing for like three or four years now. I love it. Um, as far as watch goes, right now I just have a older Timex. This was actually my uh, late grandfather's. Uh, just passed away over the holidays here. Uh, it's kind of a nice little reminder of him. Pretty cool too. It actually looks, you know, pretty dated, but has a uh, glowing face on it, so that's pretty nice. Um, let's see. As far as concealed carry, I have a uh, car CW9. Open this up so you can see she's cleared. And I carry that in a Kydex holster. Something I found on eBay. It's actually relatively cheap, like 19 bucks or something carry that appendix and usually has a seven round mag with a uh, Hornaday critical defense in it that's one that usually in the gun and I usually carry the other seven round mag in my back pocket but just today actually I got in the eight round mag so I'm gonna start carrying this one in my back pocket and I took it out of the gun obviously for the video but I usually carry one in the tube as well and um, also in the back pocket with the extra mag, I have the hanky. I love having a handkerchief um, in the back pocket. Good for obviously blowing your nose or you know makeshift splint, all kind of different uses for this. So that's always a good thing to have. And it's kind of nice. I shift my uh, the mag on the very side of the pocket so I'm not sitting on it, and the hanky kind of just keeps it in place. So that's nice. And I also on occasion I'll carry a, uh, a weak hand knife. 
is a CRKT minimalist uh, in the Bowie and uh, I'll carry that appendix as well on my left side so I can get to it with my left hand or if I reach over I can reach over in or like this just to get a grab on it something that I don't use for any like everyday carry stuff it's just kind of a backup that I keep like nice and razor sharp um, and I like this one too it's a nice little knife nice little uh, cutter and uh, oh one more thing I have a, uh, a Nalgene bottle and this usually comes with me everywhere in my car or whatever and uh, it's a typical you know 32 ounce Nalgene bottle but I have the uh, human gear cap cap and that's actually a really nice thing I'll do a separate review on this and some of my other uh, caps that I've tried out but I really like these and this is something I have with me every day I drink a lot of water so and I think that is about it um, thanks for watching and if you didn't notice uh, already if you're a, was a previous subscriber uh, I changed my name from Cordy1293 that was just kind of a random name I made up when I started uh, on YouTube but I changed it to Jake Adventure Hunter no spaces um, I was going to go with Adventure Hunter, but uh, someone else already has that name, and I kind of wanted to start my own thing, didn't want to steal somebody else's name, so uh, yeah, so the channel is now going to be Jake Adventure Hunter, so like I said, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions on any of the gear or anything you saw here, um, I'm going to try to get to doing specific reviews on these things, but I just, like I said, wanted to get an easy video out of the way, and uh, yeah.